Hey guys, welcome to episode 13 of my Revelation series. There's a few things I want to get done today, but first, I have a feeling that we're going to need some quartz and glowstone. So, let's go ahead and quarry the nether real quick. Alright gamer, here is what's happening. I cleared out a chunk going up and down and on top of that chunk, I just went up and started clearing more chunks. Just like a way to make a flatland, just like how there is in the uh, mining dimension. So I'm trying to make this happen and then just do what I do in the mining dimension. Just blacklist nether rack and chunk this chunk of flesh and then that's what's gonna happen out here I guess we could start by clearing this chunk so let's go ahead and do that I'm just gonna take my builder and my energy cell with the crate one two three four okay that's four chunks you, you know what I don't think we have enough energy here we'll just come back in our day and do this later when we have more energy, thanks to our canola farm and our coal generators. But we'll do that in a later time. Alright gamers, I went AFK for a little bit, but I'm back. And we have our whole energy cell charged up. And, and actually we have 81 buckets of canola oil now, which is good. So that's going to last us for quite a bit. And... Before we get things going, let's go ahead and uh, make more circuits around here. Let us make more circuits. It's for uh, applied energistics, which I will be getting to more, most likely, maybe this episode. But I know I'll be needing more stuff. So I'll just put some gold, some certus quartz in here, and some diamonds. And what else? tired of using this iron pick so let's go ahead and upgrade this we should probably throw this away goodbye wait not yet not yet <laughs> let's go upgrade our regular pick actually you know what let's go upgrade all our tools do I have a shovel in here I do do I have a hatchet there we go let's go ahead and upgrade these things to manilium and cobalt Okay gamers, let's go ahead and get the reinforcements. Let's go ahead and reinforce these first. So we're going to need 3 Ardite and 3 Cobalt. And while this is still going, let's go ahead and I'll calculate how much we need. How much Cobalt do I need here? I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4. No, 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 no. I don't need the head to change. I just need the handle and the bindings, right? So, handle binding. I'm pretty sure that's one and one. Let's check. Handle is one. Material cost is one. Binding is one. Alright, let's go ahead and melt down an aluminum brass because I need binding. And let's go grab ourselves a stone binding. Stone. There we go. We're gonna need that. And a sharpening kit. There you go. Get that aluminum brass out of there. There you go. We're going. Alright gamers, now that we got our parts, let's go ahead and upgrade our tools. It's just a nice thing to have. It's just nice because when I'm running around and I need to take one thing down at a time, these will really help. There we go. We got some nice tools. So that is what I'll be doing. I'll be using instead of this iron pick. Bye pick. Alright. 
So, and, you know, I do need a whole bunch of ender chests and ender tanks. But I'm gonna need white wool. So, let's just get that out of the way and go find some sheeps. And use this golden lasso. Alright gamers, I have 8 sheeps just enclosed in this area. And that should give us the, all the wool that we'll need, hopefully. I have 55 here. Let's go ahead and make some ender chests, because I know I'll be needing that today. Probably. Probably. I put our blaze rods in there. There we go. Let's make four. Because I feel like I will be needing four. You know what? Why not ender tanks too? There we go. So now that we have that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more chores. Let us go to the nether and start mining. Start using the builder there. Alright gamers, now that we're here, we're just going to set down our builder. And let's mine this out, honestly. So, it's going to be just like the way we have in the mining dimension. Builder like that. And we'll have storage honestly we can start using the ender chest like that I'll show you guys in a second so we'll have right click this we'll have this dirt and we'll just choose four four chunks to mine like that you know make sure we get the whole wide dimension and then we'll give it a filter can't forget that that would be bad and start there you go it should start mining out the things that we need I'm mostly looking for glowstone and nether quartz so hopefully that does its thing Alright, let's go back to the overworld and show you guys how this is going to work. But actually, but first, 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 let's go ahead and claim these chunks. So this chunk to this chunk. Okay, we just need to keep it loaded so that our builder can do its work. So we'll go back home and this is how it's gonna work so this ender chest is connected to the builder in the nether actually and as you can see it's mining us what we need I should probably white blacklisted the white budwood that's okay um so while I was doing that we could have this extract into here honestly just, this is just some temporary for now until I figure out something else better. That's like that. There we go. Cool. So that's how it's gonna work. And what I wanna do today is build a mob farm. This is gonna be pretty cool. And I wanna get started on it. So we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a mob farm in the ender in the overworld and the nether so we're gonna need two mob crushers so let's get that going and a mob slaughter factory just for getting meat so let's do this all right I got my two mob crushers and my slaughter factory and they only accept Tier 5 max upgrades on the range, so let's go get those. There we go. Do I have any flux points? Because I know I'm gonna need those. I do not. Let's go make some flux points too. Oh, I almost forgot one last crucial thing. We're going to need dark glass, which is made out of black dye and thickened glass. 
and taking glass and made out of sandy glass which is just made out of sand and glass so let's go get some of those I know I'm probably gonna need a whole bunch too alright I went ahead and got 12 stacks of sandy glass and let's go ahead and cook them up and speaking of cooking things up let's go ahead and get ourselves some black dye too so it's just gonna be done using our botania system here you know what else we need? We need dark and affable glass. Just just dark glass around the moonstone. Luna react reactive dust is made out of lapis. So we're gonna need eight of those. Let's just go ahead and put a whole stack just in case we need more in the future. We put it in the resonator. Alright, that's gonna take a while too. You know what guys? Let's go ahead and get these upgrade speeds for my ut extra utilities. Um machines because this is quite slow honestly so let's do that we're just gonna need some upgrade base which is weighted pressure plates on the resonator here and block of redstone and gold it's gonna be too hard and see how much black dye how are our black dyes going here let's go ahead and save four for the chest and let's see how much we can make All right, I'm hoping this is enough. Probably not, right? Because we're gonna need two to one ratio. Yeah, we're gonna need a whole lot more black dyes. Let's go ahead and make some upgrade bases. Let's go ahead and get some upgrade speed here. Blocks of redstone. There you go. I have six to four. There we go. One. Two, three, four. Okay, good. We'll give this two. There we go. It's gonna use up more grid power, but hopefully it doesn't destroy our power fight. Which it doesn't, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take these. Let's give it some our lapis that we were working on. Let's go ahead and make more upgrade speeds. There we go. That should speed things up quite a bit. Place them in here too, and in here, and in here, and let's go do this thing again. That's much faster. That is good. But we can't fly anymore while it's on, <laughs> because it's too much grid power. That means I'm going to need more of these water mills if I want to continue my flight. Alright, my fellow gamers, I got quite a bit of... Black, uh, black dye out here so hopefully that should suffice let's go put this back can we fly normally uh, we cannot all right we had to take out the upgrade speeds until we put more water mills down and that's just fine let's just place them here for quick access in the future but that will allow us to fly oh maybe not Okay, I can't fly because of my resonator up there. Whack! I, th I didn't think it was this. Okay. It's fine. Okay, I guess we kind of have to type slash home here. Hopefully. It takes us back up. Let's go ahead and make our thickened glass. Alright, very good. I hope I didn't make too much. <laughs> You can never have enough dark class, I believe. Who knows? I might be wrong. But let's go. Got dark glass. You know what? Might as well get some more. Let's wait for this to finish up. Alright, our glass has finished up. Let's go ahead and make the last of these dark class. Let's go. There you go. Oh. There we go. There we go. Got quite a bit of dark class. Hopefully, it's enough to build our, our mob farm we are going to be building. Uh, let's actually take that down for now because I want to be able to fly. <laughs> and we're going to use this to make some moonstone real quick. There we go. 
And with Moonstone, we're gonna get Dark and Affable Glass. It's just Dark Glass, but it lets you go in and out of it. Alright, let's go to the nether, build, and find the fortress, and get this going. Alright gamers, I'm here at the nether fortress, and this is where I want to build the mob farm. Actually, this is perfect. Let's build it here, right in the middle of these nether bricks. So, let's do that. I'm just going to take our hammer here and start hammering down. Mm, this looks like the middle right here. So let's go ahead and mark it. There we go. Alright, it's going to be this big. Let's actually go ahead and claim the chunk. Hmm. This kind of extends out that way too much, honestly. Let's go ahead and move it this way one, honestly. It's not going to be symmetric, but it's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and place down our mob crusher here. And I want to see its range just to make sure. There we go. It's going to be like this. So we're going to use our dark class and make a border around this. Alright. So we got it covered in our dark class. And technically no light should be able to go in here. Let's press F7. Okay, good. So that works. And I put a dark and affable glass so that we could go in and out. And the one last thing that we need is to get this working. So let's go ahead and get our flux plug. Oh shoot boys, I don't think I brought the flux plug with me. I'll be right back. I can't believe this. So here we are at the fortress gamers. Got my flux point. We'll just place it down right. Hmm. I don't be here, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Am I overthinking anything? I hope not. Nether mob farm. And we'll just connect it with this cable. This conduit. We'll have that to extract, this to insert, and now it should be doing its thing. It will kill anyone that appears here. And the way we make enemy appeared there is using this drop of evil this drop of evil is quite crazy all right so as soon as I drop this in the dirt it will become cursed earth which will then summon the enemy and you know what store that store them down so I could talk all right so it become cursed earth and they will just spawn nether enemies and the reason why I picked the fortress is so that I could get some wither skeleton drops too that is why I picked this oh well I don't want I want this get out of here okay let's go ahead and just finish this this build I just want to make it look nicer oh, there we go it kind of looks a little bit nicer and that is that it look at all these mob drops boys We'll have this extract thing also. So, we're gonna have this to extract always active and into our inner chest that is connected to the overworld. I don't know if you guys remember that. We'll have that to insert. There we go. It's pulling that out and into the chest. Alright, so we got this done. We'll also make a mob farm in the overworld. So, let's do that. This will actually produce me a lot of gold from the gold nuggets I'll be finding. So that's good, that's good. Let's go ahead and make this mob farm down here. I want to do it. Not sure where yet. Hmm. This little island right here is fine. Yeah, this is fine. So let's do it here. So let's just use this as the middle point. So we'll place the mob crusher here. We'll have this range. There we go. Now we can see where we need to build. So let's get this building. Actually, gamers, for the second layer, I want another layer of dirt. 
because I want to put my mob slaughter factory here which will produce us some liquid meat which will provide us, provide, basically provides us, provide us with food so that's good and also provide us some pink slime so that's good too all right so we got the mob farm going i take this dirt piece of dirt and you know what since i have some extra fence let's just place them down like this all right so that's going to work we're just gonna need conduits i'm actually out of conduits this is crazy let's go get some more of those gamers There we go, I got myself a whole stack and two. So, let's do this. We'll have the flux point over here. We'll just here, just make this the overworld mob farm. And let's go ahead and connect them. Just have this to insert and insert. All right, the range check and range check very good got to do this to extract and extract okay the last thing we need to do now is just add our good old drop of evil so here we go take this out all right there we go so that's how that's gonna work Okay, so that's good. Glad that's working. Now we just need to be able to store the liquids, honestly. See this? We're getting fluid essence. Let's just go ahead and get this our liquid system going, honestly. So let's go ahead and make sure this is also chunk loaded at all times so it doesn't ever stop. Okay, I'm just double checking the chunk borders. All right, so that's how. So that's gonna work pretty well. Look, we have an Enderman in there. Ooh, are we getting Ender Pearls? Good, we are. Honestly, gamers, I'm going going to need to figure out the storage system for all this because I know they're not all gonna fit in here because this is already overwhelmed getting overwhelmed so after we figure out this liquid fluid system let's go ahead and do that first so we're gonna have those liquids go in and we're gonna store them over hmm honestly you could store them right here this is fine yep and this is how we're we are going to store them we're gonna need some drums. Do we have drums? I have a lava drum. So let's go make some drums. Make like a few. Oh my goodness. I'm out of diamonds. That's crazy. I was trying to make some eight reinforced large diamonds, but you know what? That's fine. And let's go ahead and make this Klein bottle. Some ender pearls in there. And glass bottle. Let's go make these class. Hello? There we go. We got four. And then to get these demon ingots. Uh, I know there's a weird description, but let me show you guys what it's trying to say. But basically, you need nether brick surrounding. lava and then you throw gold in there and that's how you get the demon ingots so let's go get six of those or 12 let's get 12. all right so we got our lava here and then we'll just throw in our gold just to make sure this is the recipe okay good oh sh hello <laughs> it just ate 11 of my iron of my gold hello 
Why did it do that, gamers? Is there a cooldown, maybe? I should have known. I feel stupid. I can't believe it just... You know, gold is the one resource that I don't have a lot of. Okay, let's do this one last time. And maybe I, if I throw them all at the same time? Holy! Bro, I am mad. It's 22. It's 22 iron, I mean gold, out of the... You know what? Gold. It's a good thing we got some of these poor gold ores from Railcraft. So let's grab those. And let's, we're gonna go melt those down. And get ourselves some gold. Okay gamers, let's try a block of gold. Maybe? Okay, I, th I think this is broken. It's broken. Maybe I need to refill the lava. Okay. I guess refilling the lava works. So now we got two. How much do we need? Just need ten more now. So I've refilled the lava and it ate it. Sweet. I am quite annoyed. You know what gamers? How about we use a different location? Maybe that location's weirdly bugged. Let's place it here. Okay. Let's try this one last time. Maybe I have to do it one by one. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm kind of pissed. I just had to throw it in one by one. one, by one. It's whatever. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Go ahead and drop the gold back in here. Let's go make our demonically difficult drum. Alright. So we'll have liquids coming in. And we'll have them come out and get stored in these drums. That is my plan. You know what? Let's go ahead and empty this one too. There we go. Now that becomes lava. And the rest also come in through here there it goes we're draining the food essence it's gonna go in here I'm not ready for these two yet <laughs> I don't have the other drums yet so while that's happening it goes up here good now we have essence which is basically XP and we got lava I need two more drums but I am missing Diamonds. I can't believe at all things. I'm missing diamonds. It's all right. So we got all that. All right. Good. Let's go get the Nether XP too. Holy snap, boys! I thought I was about to die. That fire did not come out for so long. I was, I was kind of get, getting sweaty at the end. I was like, huh? I was sweating. Alright, let's go ahead and put the ender tank here. Okay, I don't like how this is positioned. Go ahead and move it. Alright, we'll have that to extract. Have this to insert. There we go. It's also training the essence. Which is good. The... Weird thing now is. Alright, I think that's the end of this episode, honestly. We got a mob farm going, and it's working. <laughs> it is working. Hold on. Alright, gamers, we have an issue here. We're getting gold swords and stone swords and bows. Not what we want. So, let's do something about that. Let's grab ourselves a trash can. Go ahead and grab one of these. And a filter. I'm pretty sure I have some already. There we go. And we'll just have it whitelist the unnecessary things. So, we'll place it right here. Have that to... But first, we'll give it a filter. Uh, we don't want 
bows, swords, stone, swords. Yep, those are the things that we don't want. So, you can place them here. Ignore the metadata, which basically means the the help bars in these things. It doesn't matter what kind of help bars. So we'll have this to insert. Prio 8. Good. So, it should take all the bows and the necessary things. Let's give it a test. There we go. They're disappearing. They're going in the trash can. Good. Let's go ahead and do the same here. Let's go ahead and clear our inventory actually. Here we go. Okay. Let's do some clearing. Don't want these. Alright, we are at one point gonna come to an issue where this is gonna get full. That's that's the bad gamers. That is the bad. So we're gonna need to make an inventory system here. And I can't really fit them all in here because I know this is gonna get full fast. So that's probably next episode. That's our next episode problem. But for now we got the mob farm and we got XB coming in, which is good. So for now, let's just keep it at that. Alright gamers. Like and subscribe if you guys have any questions or want to tell me anything. Any criticism. Just hit me up in the comments. I'll see you guys next episode. Boop!